There is a message from National Treasures. Please check it. What becomes of us after death? The Chu people, who lived over 2,000 years ago, believe that we enter an immortal realm. Our traveler in time has a solemn look. Dressed in his finery, with sword and a gentleman's cap, he rides his dragon mount into eternity. The dragon's raised head and tail give it a boat-like form. This is indeed a voyage into the unknown. The silk painting was made in the Warring States period and is the earliest such found to date. It was unearthed from the Zhe Dangku tomb at Changsha, Hunan province. It rested on the boarding between the outer and the inner coffins. It served as a pennant to lead the soul as its earthly farewell. The canopy rises high in the air to show that the tomb's occupant is wandering the skies. A carp is leading the way from below. The dragon is a mythical creature that can pass from this world to the next. O oh soul, come back. The quarters of the world are full of harm. Return to your old abode, your quiet and restful home. The Chu people believe that after passing away, the earthly soul sank into the depths while the immortal spirit flew to the heavens. The funerary silk paintings placed between inner and outer coffins were intended to guide and protect the wandering spirit so it could return to earth immortal. The T-shaped silk painting was created nearly 200 years later in the Western Han Dynasty. It too was intended as a guide for the spirit of the departed. It represents the cosmology of the people of Chu towards the end of the first millennium BC. In the painting, life and death are joined in a dynamic cycle like yin and yang. The afterlife is governed by the same rules of time and space as the world we know. The bottom of the silk painting depicts the underworld. In the long darkness of night, a titan stands on a dragon-headed fish, deters the demons, and supports the earth above. In the middle, the soul and spirit of the occupant are carried by two dragons and travel through the human world. At the top, the gate to the heaven is wide open. Sun and moon shine together. This is where the voyaging spirit will become immortal. The inner and outer coffins are also painted with the views of the netherworld. Although the form of life disappears for a while after death with the blessing of sacred ritual objects, the balance of yin and yang can be restored. The soul takes shape again and the life eternal continues in another dimension. The Chu use fantastical and mysterious cultural symbols to illustrate the glorious path leading the dead to another form of life. Life and death are like day and night. Life and death cannot be reversed by the human hand, but like the changing seasons and repeating days, there are currents hidden in nature. The Chu belief in the secrets of life was expressed in their colorful paintings. They did not fear death because they believed that death was not just the end of mortal being, but also the entry into the world of the immortal. Treat the dead as living. This is a view of life and death that has lived in China for thousands of years. People believe that living as a man and becoming an immortal after death is the way of the universe. And to get between life and death, earth and heaven, one should ride on a dragon. <laughs>